Hello Aquarius and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy and I am so happy that you are here with me today. This is your weekly reading for September 9th to the 15th. I'll concentrate on your incoming energies. We will get some tarot cards. We'll do some angel and spirit messages and then we'll close out your reading with your angel number. There will be multiple messages coming through so please take what resonates and leave the rest. Even if only parts resonate, please let me know. I appreciate it. It means that it is part of your reading. I've meditated and prepared the cards for your reading today, but I'd like to ring the bell to cleanse the space together. So you are going to hear a loud bell sound now. All right, Aquarius, for those of you that are new to my channel, I want to welcome you. I hope you enjoy your reading today. For those that are returning, thank you so much for all of your love and support. I truly am blessed and thankful for you joining me today. So I hope that you find messages uh, in, and meaning in the messages today as well. All right, Aquarius, let's get right into your incoming energies. Let's find out what these incoming energies are for you. As we move through the second week of September, Spirit Angels Guides. Messages for the beautiful sign Aquarius. All right, beautiful. Healing energies. We've got two, two I, I don't usually get into the energies right away. We've got the woman holding a coin and the woman holding a heart. These very well could be your energies, but it also could be people in your life or surrounding energies as well. Very interesting because we have grounded energy with the coin and we have the emotional side with the heart so uh it, it'll be interesting to see what uh, transpires there okay so for some reason uh spirit has told me that they want to get one more card um they wanted me to shuffle let me get one more card there's something else there we go balance ah you're trying to balance your emotions and you're balancing your stability all together and that's what this healing is very interesting all right let's go three back this is your current energies those are the energies that are coming through from the bottom of the deck number 34 door to personal healing and happiness that comes along with that healing energy i think you really feel like you are um i think you've been through some trials and tribulations over the course of these past couple of months and i think that you've been really anticipating that door to personal healing and happiness opening and i think it's finally here for you uh, i think you've been feeling very indecisive number eight indecision about which direction to go in your life and i'm happy to say now with number 19 you are getting the rest and rejuvenation that you need um, whatever it is that was causing this blockage where you weren't able to really figure out that direction, um, you're feeling as if that has lifted. That weight has lifted and now you're feeling a lot healthier mentally, mentally physically, and, and, and uh, emotionally. Um, the healer of the ages is here, number 51, because the healing is already taking place. You've already kind of, your, your energy is transforming now in a very positive way. Um, and again, a lot of it is because you're getting the rest that you need. I think you've had some sleepless nights. I think you've had some worry and some moments where you weren't quite sure what was going on. Um, but that healing energy is really helping now to really uh, help you feel grounded in your energy. I think that balance is very important to you right now, Aquarius, and I think this is the reason why these two, uh, two energies came through. Please keep in mind that there is no gender with these cards. So the woman holding a coin is earthly energy. So that's Capricorn, Taurus, and um, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. My goodness, I couldn't get that one out. Uh, so very much earthly energy. But it is also mixed with this number 44, woman holding a holding a heart, which is watery energy. These are our emotions. So Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, if that means anything to any of you. I think that you are trying to balance out your the things that you feel emotionally with what your grounding energy is. So your health, your family, your independence, your money, your structure, your foundation. So you're trying to get that balance. And that's why the angel of balance is here. All right, so let's get right into your messages here. Let's find out with the healer of the ages. Spirit Angels Guides, if you can help give us a little bit more understanding for beautiful sign Aquarius, healer of the ages, starting with this healing energy. What would you like to share? Any messages? Anything you'd like to share? We've got one here. 
All right, and you got the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is leaving all of the emotional drama behind you. This is why you're able to heal because you are taking that strength. You are taking your strength, your emotional strength. You are taking your situation the way that you need to, even though you may have been feeling a little indecisive at some time, at, at some point, you were feeling a sense of indecision. That healing energy is what's given you the strength to say, ah, no more, no more emotional baggage, no more emotional drama. I am not going to let that affect me anymore. I'm ready and willfully walking through the door where I'm going to move on and be happier and be stronger and not feel that weight of, of all the drama and emotional inten intensity around me. Um, this is you making that choice to do that. And that's what's really, that's why you're feeling so much healing energy. There's been some sort of drama or something in your life where it was requiring you um, to have to make a decision and you weren't exactly sure how to do that. But that weight is now lifted. I think that you have made that decision. Consciously, you're making the decision to move forward, to bring more balance into your life. And sometimes the only way we can create balance is by removing whatever that drama is from our life. Right? So emotionally, you are stronger because you are making that choice for you. Now let's find out with this woman holding a coin. Let's find out what that energy means. There's sudden changes happening here. Emotionally, I think you are emotionally grounded. Okay, let's see. Now there's definitely a celebration. Celebration after change. All right. So I think, I think that you are really changing your whole perception on what stability means to you from an emotional standpoint. I think that you're going through a major restructure in your life. I think the whole foundation of your life is changing. And even though sometimes, you know, it, it it's, you know, it, 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 it kind of presents itself as an obstacle. It's actually a welcoming obstacle for you, Aquarius, because it's changing exactly how you emotionally, how you emotionally link things to how you feel your stability. And the tower is here to say that, you know what, there is a structure in your life that has to come to a close. There is something that has to change uh, because you have to build a stronger foundation. So the tower is here as, as a supportive energy. To say now is time for us to restructure. It's time for restructure because this is what's going to actually bring you a lot more balance in your life. Something's been off kilter and now this change, this sudden change that's happening is actually going to feel like a very positive release. The Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is a supportive energy. It's, it's the energy of love. It's a proposal. So for some of you, it is a proposal. Um, and for some of you, that could be... <laughs> If you are very stable in your life and your life is changing because maybe there is a proposal, there's a celebration, somebody's offering marriage, somebody's offering to move in together, there is some sort of love offer, it's going to change your world completely and your whole sense of structure is changing. And, and it is going to be a cause for celebration. So it's actually, this is a change that's a positive change. Um, but for others of you, I think it really is, again, your whole foundation is just changing and it's changing so that you emotionally, you feel more, um, positive about your restructure. I think everything, I think your whole foundation is restructuring. Um, I think you're increasing your stability in a way. Um, but it is going to require you to go through a few, um, through drastic changes. But it's going to ultimately bring you the Three of Cups, which is this beautiful celebration and this happiness, this joy. Um, it's bringing together the, your sense of stability and your emotions all in one. So let's find out with the woman holding a heart. Let's find out with this woman holding a heart. Feeling a lot of emotions going on right now. And again, um... I think it's all leading you towards a very positive direction. Yeah, you know what? You are moving You are moving in a beautiful direction here. With the Six of Swords, look at this beautiful rainbow of lights circulating over you as, you as you are now moving in a new direction. You're moving in a direction and you're leaving behind anything that was causing drama or causing you some sort of upheaval. You are feeling the healing benefits of that and you are feeling stronger emotionally. The Six of Swords is the light at the end of the tunnel. So again, massive changes have been happening and restructuring your whole life, but you are moving in a direction that is actually bringing you a lot of positive energy. The number 21, the, close, uh, the world is closing out the cycles. So chapters are closing out in your life that are allowing you to emotionally move on to better uh, something better. Um, you are moving in a much healthier and better direction where you are going to really feel um, like you are celebrating a win here. There is definitely a win here. And the angel of balance 
is what's balancing all of this out. This whole restructure that's taking place is providing you with much more strong stability and it's making you feel emotionally grounded. So your emotions aren't all over the place anymore. You're feeling a lot of rest and rejuvenation because your emotions are feeling um, very strong. Um, the seven, the chariot, major arcana. This is Cancerian energy. <clears throat> the balance comes because you intuitively know exactly the direction that you need. You are, have a calling here and your calling is telling you which direction it is you need to go. You are moving in, you are moving in a direction that is showing you that positive light. And, and the chariot is you intuitively, like I said, knowing exactly the direction that you need to go that's going to provide you with more balance in your life. You're no longer going to feel um, instability. It, you're actually going to feel like there's a victory here because the chariot is a victory. And you should, uh, you should feel um, just the healing, the healing energies coming from this card because you are making the choices that are right for you in your life and they are creating a nice balance. All right, so now let's get your... Let's get the clarifying cards for these. So let's find out this Eight of Cups. You know, you're willfully deciding that you are not going to take the drama in your, in, the life, in your life anymore. You're emotionally moving on. And it feels good. Like, you feel good. Three of Pentacles. You're not doing it alone. You are working in collaboration with, with people as well. Um, the Three of Pentacles is you feeling a lot of strength from working in teamwork. And uh, so whether or not it's just supportive energy around you that is really helping you to feel that strength in all the decisions that you're making. I think that you have, um, I think that you have a supportive system around you too that is financially helping you to achieve your goals as well. You've got uh, a couple of threes here. So three is a very important number. Um, <clears throat> and do we have any other threes? Let's see. No. But that three of pentacles is definitely you're working working with a team of people that is really helping you um, solidify the decisions that you're making as well. They're helping you with that healing process. And I think they're really helping you to ground your energy to really produce a lot of success as well. Let's find out with this tower card, the knight of cups and the three of cups. Let's find out. Let's get some clarifying cards for this change that's happening. For some of you, it could be a change because you have decided that you are, uh, maybe you're getting married, you know, there's a celebration or you're expanding your family. There is a change happening. Yeah, so there is a port, there is something that's coming to a close. There is an ending here, an ending that brings a beautiful celebration. So a, a change in your, there is a change. You are seeing that you're, if you've been feeling a little in, unstable, if you've been feeling like your life has been unstable, there, that is coming to a close. And you are creating a whole new sense of foundation. And that foundation is something that you are working with with someone else. I think that there's a partnership here of some sort. So whether that partnership is platonic or whether it is love related, it's a partnership that is you're growing, you're growing at the same capacity. You want the same things out of life. You want, you have the same goals and intentions. And this is why it's, it's time for a celebration. You're celebrating the closing of a chapter here. You're able to close out a certain chapter in your life because you're allowing the changes to take place that are going to facilitate more strength in your foundation. And you're doing it with somebody who loves you. They're offering you love. All right, so there is somebody around you that cares deeply for you. And, it, it, and, it, and again, it could be a friendship type of caring as well. Um, but for, for some of you, it really is a love relationship that is just taking itself to the next level. Now, the Six of Swords in the world. For some of you, you could be traveling. There could be some travel definitely associated with these two beautiful cards. Oh, and see, you're feeling balanced. You're finally, finally feeling like balance. Um, and the wheel is turning in your favor. Wow, beautiful cards, Aquarius. I think that you have been through some trials and tribulations over the course of these past couple of months, um, whether it's job related or, or relationship related. Um, I think you're moving into much, much better and healthier pastures. I think that some of you, it could be that you are planning travel. Um, maybe you are moving into a, a new location. You're changing up something. There's major changes that are happening in your life that maybe it, it is about relocation. You're, you're bringing in something new. A whole new energy is surrounding you. And it's a beautiful, unconditional love 
energy, which is lovely. Number 14, temperance. You are bringing in a lot of harmony in your life, peace, joy, harmony, and balance. You're balancing everything in your life and you're being able to do that with your emotions as well because, because cycles are changing for you. The 10, the wheel of fortune. So where you were where you were feeling that sense of indecision and as if the, maybe the, the wheel was turning not in your favor, now it is finally making its way around again and it's actually producing you with more good fortune, good luck, and expansion. This is a very positive card with your reading because again, it's the light at the end of the tunnel. That that part of your life is kind of closing out and, and, and a whole new cycle is beginning and it's a cycle that is bringing you a lot more a lot more positive growth, personal growth and positive growth. So emotionally, you're feeling a lot stronger, but you're also feeling that sense of your foundation and strength being stronger too. Balance is being restored and you are the one who is in the position of feeling like a victory here with this beautiful chariot number seven. Let's see what else. You got two cards here. Queen of Swords and the Lovers. All right, beautiful. Queen of Swords is very much your energy, Aquarius. Uh, the Queen of Swords is air sign, so a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, sometimes you have to leave emotions out of things in order to make decisions, and I think that's why you're able to be able to guide your chariot because you're using your intuition. And the Queen of Swords, she is quite intuitive. Her crown chakra is very enlightened, meaning that right now you are in, in this enlightenment period where you are really gaining a lot of knowledge about yourself. I think you've learned a lot. I think you've done a lot of deep self-reflection and I think you are learning more and focusing more on, on what it is that you require in order to provide that balance in your life. The Queen of Swords is very much Libra in energy and the, the, the Angel of Balance would also be Libra in energy. So again, I think balance is extremely important to you and there are choices. Again, you've got another air air sign here. This is Gemini, the lovers, choices and decisions. And I think that there's lots of choices and decisions that you are feeling um, free to make now. Where you were being blocked before with the indecision, you are feeling this freedom because you are getting the clarity that you need with that Queen of Swords energy. That clarity comes to you intuitively and you are on the end, uh, the winning end here with that sense of victory. And, and, and you will feel as if your life is, is feeling much more balanced. All right, Aquarius, let's get your angel card. Let's find out what your angel message is. Spirit Angels Guides, angel messages for Aquarius. Anything else you'd like to share? All right, so the first one is, it's a blessing in disguise. So everything happens for reasons sometimes. Number 16, it's trust, revelations, and I think that you have been going through a revelation. Significance and surprise. So there is some surprises that come along the way. Maybe it's the sudden changes that close out certain chapters and then brings you these beautiful celebrations. Your wheel is turning for you and it's bringing in more balance, but you need trust in the process because sometimes all of these have things happen because they are blessings in disguise. The tower card is number 16. This is also number 16. So even though we don't always like to see the tower card because it is all about abrupt change, um, it is a blessing in disguise. It's something that is actually going to bring you something better and you will re and it will reveal itself to you. In the midst of everything that happens, Aquarius, you must always see the humor. So number 33. So it's about perspective. It's about wisdom and it's about playful and it's about having fun and it's about seeing the humor in certain things in life. And it's being able to bring that joy back into your life. And, and I think that you're starting to see that more, especially with the three of cups and this beautiful celebration. Um, you are moving in the right direction now. And if you can continuously see the humor in little things in life, it makes the big things seem not so trivial. All right. Aquarius, let's get your additional angel message. Special messages for the beautiful sign, Aquarius. What would you like to share with them? Thank you. All right, so the two messages. It says time to breathe, right? Rest and rejuvenation, very, very important. Thank you, angels. I breathe with ease knowing you're here. You're not alone. You've got the three of pentacles. You've got a support system, not only here on the earthly realm, but in the spiritual realm as well. So know that your angels are here to help you 
um, through everything that you're going through. So you know what? It's time to take a nice, uh, take a breather, right? It's, it's good to do that so once in a while. Unconditional love, the Divine Mother. Thank you, Divine Mother, for helping me to give and receive the love I deserve. Absolutely. Lots of unconditional love here, especially with number 44, the woman holding a heart. She loves unconditionally. I think you love unconditionally as well. All right, and now to close out your reading, let's get your angel number. I want you to keep in mind number 16. I think that's a very, very important number. Um, and you did get a couple of sixes as well. So I think number six is an important number and number 16. So keep those in mind. And you also got master number 33, also a very important number. All right, let's see what your angel number is as we move through the second week of September. Oh, you got two. So you got 777, good luck. Contentment, prosperity, abundance, spiritual awakening, and divine intervention. So this message is most likely to reach you during intense uncertainty. You'll come out winning from everything that may come your way. It's also a sign that you have much life experience and wisdom to share, yet you'll need enthusiasm and effort to get the message to others. There's a lot of good luck on your side. So remember that as you, again, move through this week. And then 1331. And it's good fortune. So you've got good luck and good fortune. So advice, comfort, a major change. And we know that that's happening. Individuality and independence. So have faith in your skills and talents as they are a tool that can provide you with a bright future. A piece of good advice, a moment of enlightenment, or a comforting message is on its way. Everything will work out in your favor. Lots of good luck and good fortune. Beautiful energies for you this week. Aquarius, I hope that you enjoyed your reading. I hope that you found parts of it resonate with you. Please let me know. Leave a, leave a comment, like, and share. And until next time, sending you love, light, and positive vibes.